Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we'll be trying to convert the following hexadecimal number, which is a base 16 value, into the original human language numbers, i.e. The, the base 10 expanded form. So what are hexadecimal numbers first if you're unsure? Well, hexadecimal is a base 16 digit where there are actually 16 digits going from the natural number, so 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. And because we're only working with um, single unit digits, we don't say 10. So we, instead, we replace 10 with the letter A, 11 with the letter B, and so on, up to 15, the letter F. So each of these are going up in ascending order, going up in ones. Now, just like um, standard um, conversion problems, the way it works, that we're going to work with, work these, each value here corresponds to 16 to the power of something, depending on the position. So let's copy all of this out into the, into the table below. So we're going to have 4... F A point B C zero and two. Now, because we're working at base sixteen, so each of them will be sixteen to the power. Firstly, zero, sixteen to the power one, and sixteen to the power two. It's that easy. And then going backwards, sixteen to negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. Now, all you actually have to do here is simply find the product, the sum product of each one. So therefore, the total digit is going to be 4 times 16 squared plus f. And remember, f has a value of 15, so it'll be 15 times 16 power 1 plus a, which has a value of 10. So 10 times 16 power 0 plus b, which is 11. So 11 times 16, negative 1. So we're just summing these up. C is going to be 12. So 12 times uh, 16, negative 2, plus 0. So 0 times this will be 0. So that can be, oops. So that can be excluded. So power negative 3, plus 2 times 16 to the negative 4. That's it. Now all you do is just smash this in your calculator. So... I haven't actually done that, so let me just quickly do that now. Okay, and I got, uh, what did I get? Okay, so, oops, touch. Tw okay, 1,274 point, it's quite a big, big, big number, 734406. And it makes sense because we're going to have really tiny, tiny uh, fractional po fractional power. So, yeah. Anyways, that's literally the method. So the idea is to just create a table, plug in the, the values, start from where the decimal point is and start counting upwards and then backwards from zero. Okay. But other than that, you know, I hope this video helped and I shall see you guys in the next one. So take care and ciao.